so today I'm going to try and attempt to set up the solar mounting brackets for the four panels finally and I'm going to try to set them outside and another thing or well, a couple of things is remember this miner over here the one that didn't work had the red light and I was thinking around uh, messing around with it you know um well um this one I saw I decided to sell it because it's not gonna be worth me um getting another a control board for it which I think that's what's bad the control board the, the control board costs about a hundred bucks so to get that you know I might as well just go ahead and look for another one. So I decided to go and, uh, and you know search around eBay and I actually found another one with the uh, uh, the another bad one with the red light problem, but not similar to that because because the person was saying that they haven't tested it. I don't know how he got it, but they have not tested it. But it has a red light, but the power. Uh, when you when you plug in the um, the, the power, it, it looks burnt out. So I decided to go ahead and buy it. it. Actually, cost me ninety something bucks, about ninety seven bucks. It cost me. So that one, I I sold that one. Um, the one that I that I got here, that one I sold. So I'm getting another one. I, I, you know, and uh, pretty much got my money back, uh, more or less. And so. When that one comes in, I'm gonna mess around with the with the new one. Okay, if I saw it, you know, for ninety seven dollars, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. It, you know, I did see a video somebody posted that they had the similar problem. So uh, when I get that in, I'll be messing around with that. So another thing is, uh, I saw today the um, the Ice River listed the the uh, the Pro one, the Ice River KSO Pro. So I went ahead and decided to buy the I, uh, Ice River KSO Pro. Uh, I bought it from, uh, I ordered it from BT Miners. So I'm happy about that. I wanted to, you know, hurry up and get it, but I'll probably get it sometime, probably the middle of the end or the ending of the month, who knows. But I decided to go ahead and order that, that one. And that should be coming in this month. Okay, so another thing is I'm messing with is is this here okay the solar system now I kinda got an idea I did see like two videos on it where it, one person instead of using uh, the inverter right or a, a, or a PSU power supply unit right they use this step down, uh, uh, what is this, like an inverter or whatever, a step down conversion inverter, something like that. It's really small and, and it connected it directly to the box, you know, to one of the boxes like this. Well, not this one, uh, not the Ipolo, but the uh, goat shell one. So, okay. So I went online. I decided to buy that uh, little conversion box, but it's a, it's a, it's a step down uh, from 24 volts to um, DC to 12 volts DC. Okay, so I gotta wire it up. But the thing is that I got this set up here as uh, 12 volts. So I won't be using this. So I'm gonna, when I get it, I'll probably end up disconnecting one of these cables temporarily. And then uh, switch this up from 12 volts to 24 volts, because it can go up to 24 volts, right? And the panels, I'm gonna rearrange them so they run at 24 volts. I think that's right. And I'm gonna do a test where I'm gonna see one of these can run on that now 
supposedly, you know, um, having it like this, the way it is, you know, with the inverter, okay, well, the batteries are DC current, right? Then, you know, they're going into the inverter, which is being converted into AC power, okay? So DC power is going is being converted to AC power, right? Then I'm plugging it in, right, to a PSU, PSU, right, and being converted again into from AC power to DC power. So supposedly I could be losing up to 40 40 um, percent power. Okay. You know, it kind of makes sense, you know. But, um, so it's going from DC current to AC current and being switched over again to DC current. So the other one is going to eliminate this PSU and it's going to eliminate this whole thing. So if I can figure out, I mean, if I can get it and hook it up and test, right, at 24 volts, so, so basically it's going to be, uh, these are going to be reset up from uh, parallel to a series to make 24 volts, right? And then is the 24 volts are going to go into that little inverter thing, the step up inverter. Step down. It's a step down. That's a step down. So, to the step down, right? And then, right? And then, that's the only thing is going to go into there and then go direct from that box directly connect back here and back one of these so the one that I got is about 360 watts 360 watts 24 volts being converted to 12 volts and I just you know I gotta splice up some wires and get it hooked up here so I'm thinking if I can get that to work and it and it saves a lot more energy and doesn't drain the batteries as much and that would work and I'm thinking like what if I put a few of those right then I can possibly run a bunch of these right in theory in theory um, so that's something I'm gonna be testing and trying out as far as all the GPU 24 GPU thing I ended up putting all of those pretty much in boxes. I still haven't put this away. But that's something I'm going to be doing. And, you know, so right now I'm just going to get to trying to put that um, rack thing together. It's all the power thing before it gets dark. And that's it for the video, guys. And i talk to you guys later. Peace. I'm out.